Yeah, sorry. Um, the video got cut off, but so so yeah, that should be good. But like I said, we're gonna watch these shows. Look, watch them more so than watch them more so when it's the entertainment shock value. But watch them for you know the politics of the time you know, and, and and what was going on. Do some do a little research. Everybody's talking about the crime bill with Biden and all that. Do some research on that yourself, you know. But um, what's the next thing? Oh, I want to talk about uh, your boy Kevin Samuels. Um, I watch this show from time to time. I, mean, I watch it entertainment. Like, it's pretty interesting, you know. Some of the things like, it's kind of repetitive to be honest. After after a while, but I, I, it's, it's something I have to disagree with on Kevin. You know what I'm saying? It's, He's talking about these women are gonna die alone and all that, and I, I have to disagree with that. I really do, especially since I've been on TikTok, and I'm, I'm not gonna get into the particulars of what I see on TikTok and the responses to what I see. But you guys and you girls and everybody, you see the same thing. So I don't really think that these women are gonna die alone if they don't want to. Or buy a dog or whatever, they, whatever you know what I'm saying? Because it's real out here, and I think Kevin doesn't understand that a lot of black men are in peculiar positions in their life, especially ones that get older. That whole thing, like my parents and grandparents, who get to age gracefully and you know puddle down to the local uh, five and ten. To, to buy some candy to give out to their grandkids and sit. My, my grandfather once told me he was retired longer. He lived to 101. He retired in his early 50s. So he told me once that that he's been working longer. He's been retired longer than he's been working. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he started working at GM, not until his 30s, because he was a mason before that. Uh, but that's a whole other story. Yeah, but he got ran out of that because of the times of being black. And all that. Excuse me, that's another thing. But so I don't think he he started working at GM late twenties, thirties, and all that. I think he worked twenty something years, and then he he retired. I think they bought him out. You know, then he lived to one hundred and one. You know, aged gracefully. Uh, you know, he's from the old school. And my father retired when he was 55. He was a teacher, you know, and worked since then. He does, like, little home improvement projects. You know, he do that kind of thing. He's always going out on the side, but he never worked for anybody else since then. Still alive. Shit, you know. But my generation, Generation X and all of us, I'm not sure how many of us are going to be able to retire and, and age gracefully in that in that sort of manner, you know, with the divorces and all that and just decision making and just um, lack of awareness at a young age. And like I say, even just the culture change, you know, where people are getting married later. So you're kind of kick kicking it and doing your thing in your 20s, always been be damn near in your 30s. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't have time to build like you should have, you know, if you had been married at a younger age and, and building, you know, a life financially and all that, you know what I mean? And, and, and maybe even this financial ignorance and illiteracy, that sort of thing, you know? So it creates a whole generation of people who basically might not just have no money, you know? <laughs> so, so, so we, I, I see these videos on the internet with they're talking about these women are out here with no place to live. I, she, I think it's a, a lot of these men, too. A lot of these men's. So, you know, these, these men's, as they get older, they need a place to live, they need a place to, you know, they might not have good insurance and all that. They might need to wipe somebody up, one of these women's who, who went out and got a PhD and got some insurance and got, you know, you, you know, like, Lord knows that the job I got now, man, I work for a huge global company. I got hella insurance, so I know how it feels to have. I got hella insurance. I mean, I got hella insurance. I even have somebody tell me, like, man, you got some good insurance at the uh, 
at the um, at a hospital administrator told me that one time for it's a whole story. But so I think Kevin underestimates and undervalues the desperation that's gonna happen in the next ten to fifteen years. Yeah. So I think he's wrong there. I think he's a little off. So that's all I got right now. So tell me what you think if if I wasn't able to splice these videos, I got a lot of stuff going on. I don't have time to sit around trying to figure out how to edit videos. So I might have just had to split these videos up between part one and part two. So, so briefly subscribe to my channel. Please watch the total video, but please, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to do more videos like this where I'm paying, kind of talking about some things. I watch a lot of YouTube. I, I kind of watch, listen to a lot of, um, uh, Netflix, Prime, that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to start getting back into reading again. I used to read a lot of fiction and nonfiction. I used to read nonfiction. And, like, you know, I kind of got away from that because kind of stuff I was just why I'm, I, call, I, I call myself a reformed conspiracy theorist because I was reading, like, a lot of conspiracies. So I started reading fiction, like Walter Mosley and all that, and I started branching out into different stuff, and I just started reading nonsense. Nonsensical, pretty much, um, what they call it, cozy mysteries and all that. So I've read a lot of fucking books over the years. I mean, I've read books. I've read so many books. I've bought books, read halfway through the book and say, well, damn, I didn't read this book already. But, so yeah, please, um, please like and uh, subscribe. Okay, I hope you have a good day. Thank you.